In this scenario-based learning module, we played the role of steel plant managers, preparing a bird to supply plates for the towers of 25 offshore wind turbines. To help us, we used an interactive plate rolling simulation, freely available at steeluniversity.org. We were given the specifications for three sections of the structure, the top cone, the transition piece, and the mudline can at the seabed. Our aim was to supply plates of the correct dimensions and with the required mechanical properties, all at the lowest possible cost. The students were divided into groups of four, with each group competing to win the contract. Three weekly meetings were held for the groups to discuss progress with the module tutors, who assumed the role of the customer. The first thing we had to do was calculate the size of the plates required for each of the three sections. From these, we could calculate the mass of the slabs. Plate rolling involves reheating steel slabs to about 1200 degrees centigrade, and then subjecting them to successive passes through a rolling mill. As the slabs get thinner, they also get progressively longer. In calculating our slab sizes, we had to take into account that some material had to be trimmed from the ends and edges of the rolled plate. We had six different grades of steel slab to choose from, each with different chemical composition and cost. There were two modes of rolling available. For the higher strength plates, we chose a thermomechanical controlled rolling schedule, or TMCR. This involves rolling in two stages, separated by an extended hold period. We found that during the hold period for the first plate, we could start rolling one or more extra plates. This practice is called interleaving, and it allowed us to make more efficient use of the mill, which was costing us $1,000 per minute. For the other plates, we chose the as rolled option, in which plates are simply rolled in a single sequence of passes. Here, we found that it was possible to produce three or four plates from a single slab, which improved material yield and time efficiency. Um, I managed five. You've managed five. Yeah. At the end of each run, the students were given a test house report showing whether their plates met the mechanical property requirements and a production report presenting the material and time utilisation. To conclude the module, the team that successfully rolled at the lowest cost were awarded the contract. In summary, the module provided the students with a realistic scenario to develop their problem-solving skills. It gave them an opportunity to explore the complex interdependencies between processing parameters, material properties and cost. Finally, while some students felt that their results relied on trial and error, others realised that by taking a structured approach to the problem, they could focus on those operational envelopes likely to produce an optimal solution.